And now, our first two speakers. Please welcome CEO and President of the Dr. Phillips Center of the Performing Arts, Kathy Ramsberger. I want to thank all of you for being here for this historic event. I especially want to thank our fantastic board of directors, our donors, our members, and all the people here on this platform. Each one of you have played an important part in making this great dream a reality. In 2003, Jim Q. Mayor Dyer and I had the chance and the opportunity to speak with other mayors of other cities and other CEOs of other art centers. And what we were trying to do is learn how we can be successful in completing a project of this scale and significance. <clears throat> what we really tried to do is find a model that was gonna be just right for our community so we could come and just get it done. What we were hopeful for is to find one key to success from a different city. And what we realized is that every one of these art centers around the world like this, and there's not many, about 36, they're all made from the fabric of their community. So we knew we couldn't do that. What we did is we came back and we decided that we were going to determine three keys to success. And the first one is a big idea. This project is a noble big idea. It's also on nine acres and it's going to be supported by fantastic commercial development. And that big idea is a gift from the city of Orlando to make that happen for this great community. The other advice that we got from the CEOs and the, and the uh, mayors was it's going to be a difficult project. Be prepared, they're tough, and they were right. This has been a difficult project, but that's why it's so worthwhile. <laughs> Great leadership was the other key to success. We have the most remarkable leaders. They're all achievers, especially our board of directors. They are good and fair people. They are so accustomed to success that there's never been another option. Success was always what they were driving for and they've never changed course. There's never been another option. Our elected leadership, thank you for pursuing your vision and delivering what you promised. You set such a remarkable tone and momentum and energy for our community. It's a community that is really connected, not just in the city of Orlando, but regionally. Our community leaders, the Chamber of Commerce, the Economic Development Commission, the Convention and Visitors Bureau, and the hospitality industry of the CHLA. You know, you have to have community along with the donors and the elected leadership to make it happen, and they've stood by the project since day one. I also want to thank our generous donors. You've made this day a reality. I know we'll see another day just like this very soon because we are gonna complete stage two and it's gonna be driven by you. <laughs> Finally, the last key to our success was communication and a connection to, com to the community. We have had over a thousand volunteers on this project and we haven't even opened our doors yet. Talk about a wonderful sense and selfishness of this region to get this done by volunteers. Your voices are the foundation of our business. Ultimately, our goal has been to build a business that would create a great civic place. Our vision is arts for every life and our business model will deliver that promise. Our commitment is to be an inspirational, creative place where people love to be and where people love to work. And we are. Because we stayed the course and we focused on our purpose, we made it through this moment and open and the opening of this amazing facility. I want to acknowledge the remarkable team of colleagues that have worked on this project and really made it what it is. Cecilia Kelly, Scott Bowman, Bruno Sosa, Ellery Brown, Leah Shepard, Scott Galbraith, Doug Spencer, Rachel Steele, Alexis Jackson, and the rest of our staff, you're wonderful. We also chose to, to find the most qualified, wonderful, talented team of consultants, and you're going to see that in this facility when you come through its doors. They have given us a remarkable, a remarkable gift as well. And finally, the city and the county staffs, 
the collaboration and the support that you've given this project has been amazing. Thank you. Jim. Thank you for giving all of us this opportunity to be part of this project. You're a visionary, so generous with your time, your gift of your financial con contribution. Your loyalty is unwavering, and you are the reason we made it to this moment. Thank you for giving us all this chance of a lifetime. beautiful day to open a performing arts center. There are 36 of these in the world, and this is the 37th. And when you think about all the effort that got us here, it's just an amazing, amazing time to open the doors. And you know, when you walk in the doors and you see these great halls, there's something behind that that you may not think much about, and that's their staff of 50 people who will who will present and perform and, and uh, do all the programming to bring the talent here. And Orlando has never had that before. We'll do 300 events a year uh, to uh, to make this performing arts center one of the great in the world. Looking out here at the round building that we just vacated not long ago, our staff were tearing it down. It'll be gone shortly. There will be an office tower here and where this tent is. There will be a, uh, a grand hotel. And so uh, this whole plaza, the size of a football field, will be open to any, all types of activities. We'll have restaurants and, and you know, various entertainment. But before I go too far, I want to say thank you to some people. And uh, the first is Buddy Dyer. He, he had such incredible courage. <laughs> I've said to him before that I, I, I've never seen anyone with that type of courage. And then sitting right close to him is Rich Crotty. And Rich, Rich was the guy who who led the county commission and said, we'll spend this tourist tax money and we'll spend it on our local citizens. And you know, not And after Rich, uh, Teresa Jacobs joined this, this great undertaking and we're so grateful for her leadership. She's gonna help make the, the next stage that goes on that vacant land happen. One fellow that needs to be mentioned is former Mayor Bill Frederick. It was he who had the vision to do this 25 years ago, Bill. There are a lot of people to thank. Jim Henson with the Dr. Phillips Center and Alex Martins who led the construction to build this wonderful building and, and goes on and on. But there's a couple of people in this uh, audience that I want you to, to know about and I hope you'll have time to come visit with them. The architect is sitting right there. He's the design architect, Barton Myers. Please stand. It's a gorgeous building, and sitting next to Barton is Richard Pilbro, who designs the theater and makes sure that the acoustical and the sight lines and all of that work. <laughs> Together, those two fellows have done a number of performing arts centers in the world, and they are very good. Thank you. 
last thing we we're going to build that last stage and we're going to get it done so uh, just keep the faith <laughs>